I usually board the E-Line in Santa Monica. When I get off the train, I never see security or police. When I'm on the train, um, I see trash, grime, uh, strange liquids. When there's an emergency on the train, there are train intercoms, um, but most of the time you can't get to them uh, since the cars are so small. When I've used the intercom, people have answered, but nothing has come from it. When I'm on the train, I often feel trapped. I see people sleeping on the train and the station every single day. I have seen people doing drugs at the station and on the train. I walk in and there are, there are no other people there. there. It's just down and out, like constant, it, um, every day, all day. They have nowhere else to go, but they use that as, as their home. That's their home. They have no other option. One day I was on the train with my bike. Um, I was sandwiched between uh, two men. Uh, one of them was looking at it pretty detailed. Um, I told him to stop. He ignored me and continued to look. He even asked me at one point, is this your break? I asked him one more time to stop. He didn't. So I moved to the other side of the car. At that point, he started muttering, what the, over and over again, under his breath. After a few seconds, he slammed his hand on the ground, um, super loud. Uh, it was dead silent in the car. Um, I was on the other side of the car, frozen. Um, he gets up and starts going towards me, almost like he was going to beat me up or something. Um, I look out to the by, uh, bystanders um, and nobody's helping me. I had the bike so I couldn't go to one of those intercoms. There was no way for me to move down. It was a full car. He starts yelling at me. I uh, carry pepper spray with me, so I pulled out the pepper spray. He seemed to notice, so he backed down a little bit, but he was still yelling. Um, there was a whole riot in that car. Everybody was yelling at him. He was yelling at everybody in there. Um, I started crying. This was my first day of school, by the way. Um, so I, he gets off at the same um, platform as me, of course. Um, starts punching things on the platform, being super aggressive, and he finally leaves. I talk to a Metro employee. She stays with me until my bus comes. That was the first intense thing that I had experienced on the Metro, but that was something I was seriously scared that I was going to get assaulted. Um, and there's nowhere to go. The car is moving. It's tiny. There, there's no help. There's nobody on the train. I decided to go up the elevator uh, instead of taking the stairs up to the platform. I went in the elevator with two other men and a man who appeared to be homeless, um, kind of sketchy. He rides his bike into the elevator. The elevator was really small, so I became sandwiched between him and the wall. He starts uttering to himself, then talks to me, saying things like, I get killed every day. Um, do you want to come with me? Uh, he kept repeating that over and over again. Um, Finally, the elevator gets up to the platform and I <laughs> go straight down the platform. Um, I walk past a naked homeless guy on the top of those information um, map things. And 
he, I begin to notice in the corner of my eye that he's staring at me on his bike. I move down a little further and he moves down a little further. I noticed this and wanted to test him. So I move to the other side of the platform. He moves with me. I go back to the other side of the platform and he moves with me again. This guy was following me. I tried asking a woman for help, but she didn't speak any English. Another lady um, went up to me and asked if I was okay, if I needed help. She had noticed he was following me. She helped me call the police on the intercom. And as soon as the man noticed that we were calling the cops on him, he books it on a train and leaves. After that, after he leaves, um, in both directions, everybody was gone. So I was alone with the naked homeless man, sorry, the naked man, and a couple other men as well. I walk down to the platform so I'm by myself and notice that in the corner of my eye another homeless man is looking at me. So I take a seat on the bench and it's all the way at the end of the platform. He follows me and sits down right behind me. Luckily, my train came as soon as I <laughs> decided to get up and go. Um, I was over it. I was so angry. Um, yeah, and then I headed home and had my stepfather walk me back to my apartment um, from the station just in case the original man was still lingering around. Yeah. Were you scared? I was terrified. <laughs> yeah, I have never had an experience like that ever in my life. I do not feel safe using the MTA. I would feel safe if law enforcement was on the train. Implementing more security is necessary. We need funding for that. We need it.